Alright, so debug mode in Harry Potter 2 for the PC is incredibly useful for speedruns, so I figured I'd make a uh, small tutorial to show basically how to use it, um, pretty efficiently at least. So the first thing you need to do is go to your documents folder on your computer. You'll see this folder called Harry Potter 2. If you enter it, you'll see all these files. You want to... Um, you want to open up game.ini, it should open up in a uh, notepad like this. Scroll all the way to the bottom, and about here, you'll see B debug mode equals true. Uh, for you, it'll most likely say equals false, but set that to equals true. Uh, so it'll or be like this for you. Uh, set it to true, and then save the file. And then, when you open up, uh, when you open up HV2 again, uh, it's gonna open up with, uh, you'll see the text up here. Uh, you'll see the text up here in the corner, the green text. That means you're in debug mode. So there's a few neat things you can do in debug mode to make it, uh, more convenient to move around the maps, to practice, uh, and all that. Uh, so there's, uh, the first thing is a level select. You can uh, hit F4 and you bring up this menu. This menu is very useful to just move around the map. You can select which area you want. For example, uh, let's see, I want to be in Grounds Hub, for example. So now I'm in grounds uh, at daytime, at the state of 10, and that's important, states are important. Uh, basically different states do different things, like state 80 I believe is, yeah now you see Ron is here, because now I'm going to Defendo, that's this state. Basically states is just um, the different... Um, the different times you can be here essentially like at this point in the game I'm supposed to go to the window so there's different things that happens here like the door is open and Ron is here so yeah just to get familiar with all the uh, states and all the areas and you'll be good the next useful thing is uh, called ghost mode which is basically if you hit delete as you can see I'm not moving here anymore I'm moving the camera and you move the camera with the arrow keys not WASD and then whenever you are in a position you want to be in, you can just hit delete again and you uh, go to that. You can also fly through area, or through um, collision like this. Collision does not matter in this state. So you can uh, go wherever you want, essentially. So that's extremely useful. Uh, next up is F6. Simply heals you. So if I take a little bit of damage here. Uh, F6 will bring health back to full. Um, not super useful, but a little bit. F9 will give you all spells, so you don't have to go through and get all the spells. Um, and then, lastly, if you hit the tilde key, you'll bring up this console. And in this console, you can type a bunch of commands. Uh, for example, Su uh, uh, side will kill you. Not, not super useful, but a little bit useful. Um, but the most useful command is save game and load game. So if you do save game, space, 10 for example. And then I move into this corner for example, and then do load game. Equals, or 10. I'll be back here. Because this is where I saved, essentially. You can save anywhere with that command. Uh, and there's an even uh, more useful way of doing that. If we go back into our um, uh, Harry Potter 2 folder, there should be a user.ini file here. If you open that up and scroll down, you'll eventually start seeing all these keys, like 1 equals, 2 equals, 4 equals, stuff like that, right? Set whichever you want to be your load key to, uh, I have mine set to 0 equal load game space 10. Uh, or 
and then whatever whatever you want your save game to be, you set it to whatever that button is equals save game ten. I'll put the com put the commands in the description below. Uh, if you then restart your game and um, and go back into the game, when you hit whatever your save ga game key was, you'll just automatically save with that key. And then if you load game, you'll go back to that. Those, like, nothing of these, the things I've shown here is allowed in speedruns, but it's very, very, very good for practice for speedruns. So, if you plan on being serious about speedrunning this game, definitely look into uh, debug mode. It's incredibly useful. <laughs>